Mean, last time I checked, you were the treasurer of the IFP, a member of parliament. <laughs> what do you expect from the State of the Nation address? First of all, how is your president emeritus doing, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi? Prince Mangosutu Butelezi is doing very, very well and hopefully he's watching us virtually. And uh, you know, he's been here for many, many years, always offering sense. And I'm sure on Monday, when it is time to reply to the State of the Nation address, he's going to really come out with home truths about where the country is and how the country is burning and what needs to be done to restore uh, you know, the confidence of people in this country. What needs to be done to do that? Firstly, we don't want platitudes. You know, every year it's the same old, same old, same old. If, you know, if the president can give us 10 things that he wants to do and if they can deliver on five of those 10, then we'll say we've done well if we get five out of ten. But there's very little delivery that's taken place and I know they're hiding behind COVID and we can understand that COVID has to some extent uh, you know, uh, caused uh, not all the uh, plans of action to be put in place. But at the same time, a lot of money has come in as a result of COVID, international funding and local funding. So we need to know that the taxpayer is money that they are contributing is going to be well spent on South Africans. This is a governing party that you work with in some of the municipalities Municipalities in Wazulu Natal, and there are concerns about service delivery related issues in those municipalities together with the ANC and your working relationship. How do you address issues of service delivery that the president will talk about today? Well, in, in the municipalities in KZN, we are the opposition. You know that we are the opposition, even if the ANC are there. Uh, we've chosen to be the ruling party where we rule and opposition elsewhere. But service delivery is going to be very important. We have to have the will to make things happen and that's important. Naren Singh, thank you very much for your time. Naren Singh is the member of the IFP. Uh, so, you know, sharing with us what to expect and reflecting on the State of the Nation address that will be delivered by the President of the Republic at 7 o'clock. Let's take it back to you in studio.